All right, now we're very excited to uh, kick off Pride Month with a special presentation led by Council Member Tracy Park of the 11th District. All right, thank you, Mr. Harris Dawson, and good morning, colleagues. This morning, as chair of LGBT Heritage Month, I have the privilege and honor of kicking off our celebration by introducing our friends at Mary Art Mariachi Arco Iris de Los Angeles. Let the music play. No te puedo nunca olvidar Es tu cafetal Dulce nido que guarda por siempre un amor Tienes el color Como un cielo primaveral Eres Michoacán Florida tierra ideal De Si me ahoga la inquietud Si no tienes clemencia para esta esclavitud Que tus aguas se lleven mi llanto y mi dolor Que recoja Janicio el perfume de mi amor que recoja Janicio el perfume de mi amor. ¡Échale, muchachos!
de su sus lagos azules, sus llanos dorados de esa tierra linda. Ladies and gentlemen, is how we kick off LA Pride and LGBT Heritage Month in the LA City Council. Yes! What an incredible example of what Pride in Los Angeles looks and sounds like. Since 2011, our council has hosted an LGBT Heritage Month celebration right here in Chambers. And this is my second year with the privilege of getting to chair this really special occasion. It brings me incredible joy to be joined by so many of my colleagues on council and from our city departments to celebrate today's festivities. Friends, we are incredibly lucky to have with us today this year's LA Pride Parade Community Grand Marshal, our own LA City Fire Department Fire Chief, and my dear friend, Kristen Crowley. Chief, come on up. Thank you so much. Yep. Well, good morning, everybody. I am just my heart is full of joy. That is a spectacular way to start it off. So incredible, incredible job. Uh, I am beaming with joy. Um, it's such an incredible opportunity just to kick off a very, very important month to everybody. Um, you know, I think if we just take a step back and we all recognize we wear many, many hats. And when I think about Pride Month, it reminds me of what that really means to all of us. Um, from my own personal experience, being the fire chief, I am humbled and proud to wear this badge and represent the amazing, amazing firefighters that we have within our LEFD. I've got my command staff here. That just shows and demonstrates the amount of support that I feel each and every day with an amazing command staff that is here just to show and demonstrate their support for an individual like me. So thank you to my command staff for being here. It means a lot to me. So thank you, everybody. And thank you. And also, um, just to be here uh, with uh, the council members, uh, thank you to Councilwoman Tracy Park and everybody that's here. It takes purposeful action. And I really, and I think the community here really s uh, understands what that means. And getting back to the multiple hats that we wear, being the fire chief, but also representing this amazing community of the LGBTQIA community that is here, it means everything to us to be recognized in this moment, let alone an entire month. And again, it takes purposeful action. So it is my honor and privilege uh, to be part of this community. I can't wait to celebrate with everybody. We'll continue to push and strive for a culture and even within the fire service itself. And I feel that's why I am here today to push and demand a culture of being inclusive and a true sense of belonging. And I think we all understand what that means and how important that is to everybody. So thank you again for this recognition. Um, I can't wait to be part of the parade and celebrate uh, who we are and why we're here and the value that we bring. So thank you, everybody. It's an honor. Thank you, and congratulations, Chief. I look forward to joining you at the LA Pride Parade on Sunday, June 9th. Um, our chief joined the ranks of other esteemed honorees this Pride Month. Each year, each council member has selected their own community um, honoree to represent their council district. These individuals and organizations uh, contribute to the fabric of LGBTQ plus life right here in the city of Los Angeles. Their achievements and their dedication to reaching for their dreams is what makes true leaders of pride. 
So I'm going to um, call the names of our individual council honorees when I do. Please stand up to be recognized. Bambi Salcedo from, on behalf of CD1, Johanna Wallace is here on Bambi's behalf. <laughs> CD2, Lester Aponte. There he is. CD3, Harut Aris Takisian. <laughs> Congratulations. CD4, Lynn Harris Ballin. I don't think she's here with us today, but we're going to give her a round of applause. From CD5, Connie Norman, Transgender Empowerment Center. <laughs> CD6, Kevin L. Perez. CD7, Juan Camacho. CD8, Monique Adams. CD9, Ricardo Marquez. And from CD10, Black Pride and Promote, Thea Williams, Misty Bell Renfro, and Roz Renfro. CD12, the CSUN Pride Center. CD13, Kathleen Rawson. CD14, Richard Zaldivar. And CD15, Mickey Chavez. So congratulations to each one of these individuals and organizations for this well-deserved honor. This morning, they joined me at our ribbon-cutting ceremony for the Leaders of Pride exhibit at our City Hall Bridge Gallery, which uh, Mayor Bass and I partnered to curate. Throughout June, I would encourage each of you and your staffs and members of the public to come visit the City Hall Bridge and learn about these incredible honorees and the work they do in our community and to see just how talented, courageous, and precious they are in the city of Los Angeles. As chair of LGBT Heritage Month, I take great pride in getting to select and introduce today's citywide honorees. I have the privilege of honoring the Mariachi Arco E. Reese's de Los Angeles Band that you've heard from a few minutes ago, the Trans Chorus of Los Angeles, and actor and activist Jasmine Creighton. Please join me in applauding how marvelous they all are as we pay respect to those who came before. Thank you all so much for being here. Now we have a really cool video for our honorees, so let's play the video. Anastasia? Yes, honey. This is my cellmate, Anastasia. We Ooh. share a probation <laughs> officer and a love of high heels. She is a gifted graphic artist. I have degrees from two different art schools. And only one felony conviction. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> uh, we go out at least once a month, and we're interfacing in the community with those that are uh, experiencing some form of homelessness. Midnight Stroll was the catalyst to our housing development. Right, uh, with Casa Zuma, Auntie Melly, Zara's Place. We've been able to do some outstanding work and provide a plethora of services that really support one's uh, personal life and journey. We were able to collaborate with Hopix, with LASA, with the City Council. Thank you. 
I'm one of the founding members of the Trans Chorus of Los Angeles. We got together in 2015 and um, started a chorus that kind of blossomed out of GMC LA wanting to have trans visibility. We are singers and that's what we do. We also happen to be trans and we're very proud to be that and to be able to represent the trans community with our voices. I actually transitioned. In thinking that I needed to create this safe space for myself, I thought there have to be other people who also need it. There's something liberating about that. The history of mariachi is very much small, but we're combining our LGBT community to make a very colorful mariachi. It's not easy being gay and playing mariachi. Other mariachis make fun when I would sing. I wasn't gonna let that stop me. It's about the music. That is what brought us together. Like I say during the performances, we have the responsibility of keeping the tradition, but at the same time, to break away from it. Thank you so much. We are Mariachi Arcoiris de Los Angeles. Thank you. Gracias. $500 for me to sit and watch the Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> Please help me welcome to the podium our first honoree, Carlos Samaniego, director of Mariachi Arcoaris de Los Angeles. Thank you so much. Thank you, Councilwoman Tracy Park, for this a wonderful honor. We're very, very grateful. Um, you know, the name of our mariachi, for those of you who don't speak Spanish, arcoiris means rainbow. We are the Los Angeles Rainbow Mariachi, and we are the world's first LGBTQ plus mariachi. Thank you, I'm gonna to try to hold it together so I can get through this and I'll make it quick, I promise. Um, I'd like to thank also Dave Gano for recognizing us, my parents who drove, and my sister who drove here from Tucson last night to be a part of this, to my husband Victor, um, to Natalia who we saw on screen, she isn't with us here today, but she's really important because she represents, within the, mari uh, the mariachi world, she's the first transgender woman in the history of mariachi. Um, I'd like to also thank our composer and arranger, Juan Manuel Cortez, and all of the beautiful, wonderful musicians that are my co-workers and my life. Thank you. <laughs> the reason for creating Maria Chiarco Iris de Los Angeles is to create a safe space for LGBTQ plus mariachi musicians, uh, given the machismo and that exists in our mariachi world and frankly in our community. Um, for those of you who don't aren't familiar with the word machista or machismo, it's a toxic masculinity. And as I mentioned in this video about the fact that we maintain a tradition, yet we have to break away from the tradition. We, mariachi arcoiris, were this bridge that gaps generations and communities. And if anything, our, I realize now that our purpose is to bring people together. And so that's what's the most important thing. As it turns out, we've become role models. We didn't have these role models growing up, at least I didn't. Uh, for me, the role models were women in mariachi because women were the first to break these machista barriers within the mariachi world. And now mariachi arcoiris gets to be those role models. Um, I'd also just like to mention the fact that people have reached out to us, the public, via social media and the emails, saying that as a result of Maria Chiarcoiris existing, and for example, this PBS documentary that came out just a few weeks ago, people have reached out and said that because of us, they don't feel alone, and that's amazing. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias. I just want to thank you for your remarks and you truly are a trailblazer and thank you for the work that you do to be a role model to so many people and to broadening 
the diversity and the spectrum of the pride rainbow here in the city of Los Angeles. So to you and the entire mariachi on behalf of the mayor and the entire city council, we appreciate the opportunity to acknowledge and recognize you today. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you. We're gonna take a quick picture. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. And now, if you would, please help me welcome to the podium our next honoree, Abby Hall, Artistic Director, and Katherine Davis, Executive Director of the Trans Chorus of Los Angeles. Thank you so much, Councilwoman Park, for this wonderful honor. It's just breathtaking, quite amazing. And we want to thank the whole council for celebrating pride and showing that we're present and we belong. We're here, we're proud, and we're so happy to be here. The Trans Course of Los Angeles has been in existence for the past nine years. And we're made up of trans femme, trans mask, intersex, non-binary, and we love to sing in many community events. We're so proud to be a voice for the trans community, and we're so proud to be here today representing that. We have a great diversity amongst our group. We range in ages from 19 to 77. Uh, I'm one of those, and I'll let you figure out which one of those I am. <laughs> but we're happy to have that diversity within our group and are proud to go out into the community and show them that we're just folks who love to sing. A great deal of credit this year goes to our artistic director, Abby Hall, for their vision, for their caring, for their love of music, and for their artistry. We've just finished a major um, program, and uh, we had great success there. In another month, we're heading to Minneapolis to the Gala Festival to sing with 200 other queer choruses across North America, and we are the premier trans chorus that will be in that group. So we're very proud. Thank you all once again. Have a great pride, and we hope to see you at some of our events. Thank you. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you, Councilwoman Parks. Thank you, Dave Cano. Um, this, I got a little overwhelmed because this little black queer kid that went to Hollywood High is standing right here in these chambers in Los Angeles. And it shows you that, just like it says, reach for your dreams. I could have never dreamed this, but I did dream things like this. So that we can reach out to every trans and non-binary child throughout these great United States through our singing and let them know they have a place and a space right here in the United States and right here in Los Angeles. We just want to thank each and every one of our choristers because without them, there'd be no trans chorus of Los Angeles. And we thank the city for, for doing this for us. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. And it truly is an honor to oh. share this stage with you today. Thank you. Thank you for everything that you do to be role models to so many people and to providing the space and the expression and the opportunity to really celebrate the diversity and richness of our city. So on behalf of Karen Bass and the entire city council, I wanted to present you with this recognition today. Congratulations. Thank you. So much. Thank you. Congratulations to Abby and Catherine and the entire trans chorus. Um, now, please help me welcome to the podium a fierce actor and activist, Jasmine Creighton. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Jasmine Nicola Creighton. I use feminine, glamorous feminine pronouns, and I am gender fierce. I want to thank the Honorable Council member, the President sitting up there today, Mr. our Honorable Mr. Marquis Harrison Davison. I want to thank the Honorable Tracy Parks for leading this adventure, this, this moment today. Thank you for honoring me. 
Oh my God, the city has been so good to me. Thank you, Dave Connell. Thank you, Dan Holden. Thank you. I've done some, been able to do some incredible work with you all, and I can't, I cannot tell you how much I'm so grateful. I want to thank Mother Karina. I want to thank the Trans Advisory Council of Los Angeles. I want to thank my team at APAT here in Los Angeles, the CBO that's doing outstanding work, and my under the leadership of Mr. Jerry Candelario. I've had the opportunity to walk these streets of LA and, and create programs that have been intentional. Pride is resilience. Pride is an opportunity to live. Pride is for everyone, and we get a chance to explore, expl ex explore, express ourselves, and expand in such a way. In the back of the room is some amazing lady, young ladies from my house, Kasazuma. It is the first national transgender housing program that is federally funded here in LA. There's not one like it anywhere else. And it's because of you, LASA, and all the various programs that are here in Los Angeles. Thank you for making that happen. You're providing a place for people to rest and come up with some new ideas and chances and choices for their lives. So I thank you. This, this award is not mine alone. I share with every single person that's standing here with me that's not in this building, my ancestors and all the trans and, and gender non-conforming and intersex and gay and lesbian people that came before me. I thank you. Thank you, Richard. Thank you, Richard. Thank you. I know some of the great leaders here. I have had, had the opportunity to be at the table, to be in the room with them as we continue to uplift, grow. It, you know what my goal is? to express unbound freedom, unlimited potential, right? Unlimited possibilities. And that's what we represent as rainbow children today. So thank you so much and happy pride to each and every one of you. Jasmine, you truly are uh, an inspiration to so, much, to so many and you really set the example of what it means to live who you are in the city of Los Angeles. It's an honor to call you a friend on behalf of the mayor and the entire city council. It's my privilege to give you this acknowledgement and recognition today. Thank you so much. So once again, I wanna thank all of you for your partnership and designating your honorees. It has been an honor to be here with all of them and with all